sit back, relax, grab a drink, because today I'm gonna show you some stuff from Kirby Sense. First of all, I just wanna thank Kirby Sense for sending me these things. They gave me a code J. K20 that would give you guys 20% off of your purchase if you're interested. I would definitely use the code, save some money, why not? This is my first time trying Kirby Sense and I love trying new brands because it expands my fashion horizons and it's so fun to share with you guys what I try. And also to keep up with what I've been doing lately, I did style the pieces a couple different ways. Hi guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you aren't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. So without further ado, Let's jump right in to the try on. The first dress I'm gonna show you is this absolutely adorable checkered pinfold dress. I'm obsessed with pinfold dresses. I'm obsessed with checkered, so this just seemed like a no-brainer for me. I tried it in a size 4X, $38, 84% polyester, 13% rayon, and 3% spandex. So it had a nice stretch to it. It was very comfortable, definitely on the shorter side, but I'm okay with that. Like the first look I'm showing you, like a sassy little night out. You have the red pop in. I felt very glamorous, the cute little necklace, but I decided to do something different for the dressy look and I paired it with some flats because you don't always want to wear heel or wedges when you're going for a dressier look. So I just thought this was super fun, a really cute way to wear the dress. And then I showed you a more modest way or just another way to wear this, which I love, is I just put some leggings underneath it popped a jean jacket over and paired it with matching red ballet flats and so this look was also so cute and obviously the perfect look for day-to-day -day wear but then of course you just style it the first way and you can have a completely different look of something you could wear out and about so I love it more as a tunic or as a original way as a dress so I think this one is very versatile and can be a great staple in your wardrobe now the next thing I tried was this peplum skirt and I have been wanting a really nice peplum skirt that I felt like fit me really well and I was super impressed with the fit of this one I tried it in a 4x $29 90% polyester and 10% spandex so nice and stretchy and I really love the fit of this it was long enough where I feel like it looked really nice on my shape I loved it with the little rocker tee and the converse I thought that was really fun but then I also loved it heels and the cute little neon top that looked really fun and you could kind of wear that out just running errands like it's not super dressy it's still casual enough but then going ahead and just putting a knee on top with it and some high heels totally changes the look of this and makes it much dressier and a total different look to the whole outfit I love both ways I think this peplum skirt is honestly the best peplum skirt that I've ever tried fit wise so I'm super happy with it the way that it fit me being stretchy in the waist and just stretchy overall I think it really fit exactly how I've been hoping a peplum skirt would fit me. Next one that caught my eye was this floral zipper sweater dress. I tried it in a 4X, $36, 96% polyester, and 4% spandex. So this was again very stretchy and it was pretty short on me, but I didn't mind it for like a night out, like a little sexy sassy moment. And the little sleeves were cute. They were like a bell sleeve. I thought that was cute. Overall, I thought the fit was pretty nice. What I decided to do with it is put it with some jeans and kind of make it actually a sweater by pulling it up and kind of ruching it in the belly so it stayed put. And then I just paired it with some cute little slip-on shoes. You can literally just go run your errands do whatever you want and this dress can be worn so many ways also I think putting tights and boots in the winter would be so cute so it just shows that this sweater could be very versatile in your wardrobe I love when pieces can make sense in different ways because you can definitely get more for your money so I really love that dress both ways depending if you would like to wear it as a sweater even if you don't want to ever wear it as a dress I feel like it looks so cute as a sweater that Honestly, I would just wear it as a sweater if you didn't like it as a dress. Definitely, you've got some options with this beauty. Okay, you guys, this next one I'm mildly obsessed with. I tried it in a 4X, $34, 95% rayon, 5% spandex. The colors are stunning in it. Can we talk about the pinks? Can we talk about the blues? Can we talk about the yellow? Like, all of my favorite colors pretty much rolled into one. I'm obsessed with it. I think the fit was really nice. It was definitely a lower cut, but with all the ruffles and stuff, I didn't feel like it came off like scandalous. To me, I like, I don't know why, but when I had it on, I was like, man, this could be perfect. Like here I am as a teacher living my best life. I'm wearing my cardigan over it to make it a little more modest. And then I'm going to go on the town after school on a Friday night, pop my cardigan off 
put my necklace on and suddenly the outfit seems more sassy but I really love that this dress easily can translate from day to night with just the change of a sweater necklace like are you kidding even like putting some sandals with it like this dress is to me perfect kind of casual or dressy mix the length is great it's not too short it's like right above the, the knee so I really can't say enough good things about it. Now the next dress I tried on was this beautiful metallic pink number. I tried it in a 4X and it was $36, 85% polyester, 10% lurex, and 5% spandex. So again, a very stretchy dress. I love the rose gold sparkles all over it. Super pretty, super fun. Obviously it is short, but this is like a perfect date night, girls night out kind of outfit. With some heels and you're good to go. A flashy little earring if you want. Like, you know, you just look stunning and I just think the cut is really nice I love that it has the strap here and the strap off the shoulder I just think that looks really good and then if you want another option for this beautiful dress I thought this is like to me a perfect like date night where you want to look cute you want to kind of be a little flashy but you also want to be comfortable and casual maybe you're going to go play mini golf maybe you're going to go to the movies maybe you're going to go for a nice stroll I feel like this is still so super cute I just hiked it up and wore it as a shirt popped a black jacket over it put on some ripped jeans my cute little sneakers then it kind of gave it that extra little dress down quality but still kind of went I felt like with the more dressier vibe of the top because it had the pearls on the shoes and then I put the pearl necklace so then to me this whole look was like what I love to call it to call dressy casual so you still look kind of dressy you look obviously more elevated than just a t-shirt and jeans but you still are comfortable and on a little more casual honestly I didn't think that this dress was going to be as versatile as it ended up being I love it both ways and like I could see the average person obviously getting a lot of use out of it wearing it the second way that I style so I love that you can definitely play around with this one now last but not least I did a plunging neckline dress this one's definitely on the dressier side so you think keep watching I tried it on in a 4x at $42 96% polyester 4% spandex the first wear I wore it is the traditional way very low cut I don't have a bra that actually is low cut enough to not show I feel like you kind of might need to do those bras that kind of like stick to you and you just kind of have them held up that way I don't have one of those so sorry I couldn't show it to you with the proper undergarment but you get the gist and then I just paired it with a red pop of red because I don't know to me a black dress and a pop of red is like nothing better I love that look it's very classic very sexy so I have the dress fit nicely I love that it had to cut out along the sleeve and the high slits on the side just gave it that extra little flavor to dress it down, I just put a red little cami underneath it. I put a jean jacket and popped it with some red ballet flats. Of course, you could have done sandals with it as well, but I decided just to kind of do the red situation because I thought it was kind of fun. It was amazing to me, once again, just how casual this dress suddenly looked by just doing a couple quick things to it. This could be really cute even as like a bathing suit cover up. So it can be so multifaceted in your wardrobe. It's kind of crazy because the kind of material it is, it would be perfect for that as well. So literally, you can go sit on the beach, go get a cocktail, put your jean jacket on, and then go put some high heels on and go out for the night. So like literally, I think this dress is super ideal. It can maximize its use by wearing it so many different ways. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below whatever your favorite look or looks were. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please share with any friends or family who you think might enjoy a little bit of a style session. <laughs> Catch me in between uploads on Instagram at Justine K. 8 8. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to just be you. If you like pina coladas. All the beach vibes. I'm a beach buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Also, the checkers kind of like giving me librarian vibes. Like, you better watch out. I'm a librarian. Shh. Okay. <laughs> Come here. Oh, I'm a gussy bear. Oh, I'm a gussy bear. A little gussy bear. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I kiss you. Oh my gosh, you're a kisser boy. The quote that I'm going to give you for the movie today's quote is, is from two people, so I feel like I have to kind of... Character one, character two. Okay, ready? You got into Harvard? What? Like, it's hard? Okay, comment below if you know where that's from without using Google.